be Reverend Dr. Alexandru Buzalic. He is the Associate Professor at the Faculty of Greek Catholic Theology at the Oradea uh, Department of Babesh Bolia, University of Cluj Nabokka in, in Romania. He is uh, uh, versed in, in, in dogmatics, especially in the ecclesiology, and very experienced in, in uh, ecumenism in, in various uh, uh, places, so I just uh, stop here in order not to to uh, steal a time of you. Your topic is dialogue in Romanian context. Thank you very much. Romanian live in the Carpathian Danubian Pontic area, distinguishing themselves from the neighboring peoples. Romanian lives in Carpathian Danubian Pontic area, distinguishing themselves from the neighboring peoples yeah. by the language they okay. speak, Romanian. The Romanian language is a Romance. Uh, do you hear uh, yes, yes, correctly? Yes, yes. Huh? Okay. Not Maybe you, you can just not come here. No, no, the microphone works. I think it's just. Not yes. Okay. Now it's better? Okay. Took history. Three Romanian state entities were formed during the medieval period, namely Wallachia, or Romanian land, Moldova, and Transylvania. If in Wallachia and Moldova, the territories are compactly inhabited by Romanians, obviously with the presence in the border regions of Ukrainian, Bulgarian, Serbian, Greek, or Lipovian Russian minorities, the history of Transylvania is marked by the penetration of Hungarians and Serbs. The second historical presence is due to the German settlers who received privilege from the Hungarian king being several waves of sedentarization of the so-called Romanian Germans, Transylvanian Saxons, Cipsers, and Swabians. The majority relig religion of Romania is the Christianity of the Greek Byzantine Rite. It is present in the Romanian Orthodox Church uh, which is the majority, 73.86%, uh, uh, and the United Romanian Greek Catholic Church, a minority. It is followed by the Roman Catholic Church, 3.89%, uh, which brings together the majority Hungarian population and Polish, Slovak, Croatian, and German minorities. In third place is the Reformed Church, with 2.60% of the population, belonging to the Hungarian minority, followed by many neo-Protestants. The first e ecclesiastical, excuse me, we have here all these percents. The first, Ecclesiastical communities on the territory of today's Romania appear starting from the apostolic period. The basic ecclesiastical language of Latin origin and especially the archaeological vestige attest to the presence of Christian communities in the territories of the Black Sea coast and around the Carpathian mountains, which an interrupted continuity despite the migration of the early Middle Age that produced the ethnogenesis of the current population. Until the union with Rome of a part of the Orthodox Christians from Transylvania, the Romanian Church formed its ecclesiastical structures in the aftermath of the schism of uh, uh, 1054. Um, in the his historical Romanian territories, the metropolis of Wallachia is recognized by Patriarchate of Constantinople in 1359 under the name of Metropolitan of Ungro Wallachia. In 1872, the Romanian Orthodox Church was recognized as an autocephalous church by separating from the Patriarchate of Constantinople, so that form in 1925 the entire Romanian church was recognized as Patriarchate. The metropolis of Moldova took shape as a canonical territory in 14th century 
being recognized by the Patriarchate of Constantinople in 1401 and have its metropolitan seat in Yash from the middle of the 17th century until today. Transylvania, the third largest Romanian province, is intermittently remembered as a metropolis based in Alba Iulia since uh, 1377, uh, se being canonically considered in the Orthodox world as a suffragan episcopate to the metropolis of Ungrovlachia. This is officially recognized as a metropolis based in Sibiu in 1864 and become part of the Synod of the Romanian Orthodox Church in 1919. The Romanian Greek Catholic communities in Transylvania are the result of two historical processes of entry into the full communion with the Catholic Church. The first Romanian communities appeared, took the entry of the protopopes from uh, these West regions under the apostolic vicar Joseph de Camillis in the 16th centuries against the liberation of the Hungarian territories from the Turks. From a chronological point of view, the first independent ecclesiastical entity of the United Romanian Church appears after the Union of Alba Iulia in 17. Uh, one, by seeing the document of union following the model of Council of Ferrara, Florence. After the tension of the anti-unionist movement at the beginning of the 18th century, the members of the two sister churches from the United Romanian Church and from the Orthodox Metropolis of Transylvania organized themselves into representative hierarchy Parish evolving, evolving according to the specifics of the times. After that, the United Bishop Petru Pavel Aron opened the first modern Romanian language schools in Blanche in 1754, um, followed by Bishop Samuel Vulcan with the school in Beyush in 1828 in the Diocese of Oradea. Teachers were trained for Romanians, the bishop supporting with scholarship both Greek, Greek Catholic and Orthodox students in favor for, for the education and emancipation of the people, regardless of their religious affiliation. This institutional and pastoral collaboration between the sister churches continues through the 19th century and the beginning of the 20th century. With the entry of Transylvania into the Kingdom of Romania in 1918, the United Romanian Church began from the majority representative church of the Romanians in Transylvania, a minority church in Greater Romania, Moldova and Wallachia being pre predominantly Orthodox territories. Against the backdrop of the entry into the sphere of influence of the Soviet Union, the United Romanian Church fell victim to the plan to abolish the Greek Catholic churches, took a simulacrum of ecclesiastical restoration of unity, a scenario that was applied of the first time in Ukraine by order of Stalin. In 1948, the Greek Catholic hierarchy was arrested the same simulacrum of the return to the Mother Church was organized in the absence of the hierarchs. The United Romanian Church was outlawed and the patrimonial assets were confiscated by the state or given to the Romanian Orthodox Church. A new stage of Greek Catholic Orthodox dialogue or relation began after the fall of the communist regime in 1989. By decree law, the Greek Catholic Church came out of the period of prohibition, but the legal situation of the churches and the assets passed into the possession of the Romanian Orthodox Church was not regulated by a special law. The fallout of the Romanian Orthodox Church was not regulated by a special law and uh, opposed to the execution of court sentences of retrocession the situation being now 
and uh, discussed in many international reports regarding the respect of human rights in post-communist Romania. Unfortunately, the ecumenical dialogue ran into paradoxical situation that depend dissatisfaction among believers. We also have the situation where the local authorities and the local Orthodox priests continue to prevent the access of Greek Catholics to the public cemetery. Another paradoxical situation is the demolition of some Greek Catholic churches and the construction by the Orthodox community, his own uh, churches, on the same site. The typical case is the Greek Catholic Church in Ungeni. The Orthodox community, which refused the retrocession of the church, began in 1997 the construction work of a new church, but around the old Greek Catholic one. This action, recalling the visit to Ungeni of His Eminence Cardinal Kurt Koch in 2030, Monsignor Pascal Goldnisch, as well as the visit of Boris Gudziak of Philadelphia, USA, together with a delegation of the American Bishops Conference. Unfortunately, the work started in the 90s, was completed this year, the old Greek Catholic Church being demolished in March. Another regrettable practice in the case of non retrocited churches consists in the destruction of the holy relics from the altars and the historical golden bull of sanctification uh, of the Greek Catholic hierarchy, an act of erasing authentic vestige and rewriting the history. The Romanian Patriarchate intervened in terms of regulation of communication in sacris and communication in ritibus in two concrete situations. The Orthodox Metropolitan of Timisoara, Nicolae Corneano, during the consecration service of the Greek Catholic Church, Holy Mary, Queen of Peace and Unity, in the presence of the Apostolic Nuncio, Archbishop uh, Francisco Javier Lozano, and the Greek Catholic Hierarchs, on May 25, uh, 2008, he partook of the Holy Eucharist from the San Calis. The second event was the concelebration of the blessing service of the waters of the Krish River in front of the Oradea Town Hall by the Greek Catholic Bishop Virgil Bercia and the Orthodox Bishop Sophronia Drincek, according to a practice from before, before the Second World War. The Orthodox Bishop was attacked by some of the hierarchs, monks from Athos, clerics and believers, and the case of Metropolitan Nicolae Cornano, including Patriarch Kirill, asking the Orthodox Church Romanian to express a point of view in relation to this event. Even to the Orthodox Patriarchate of Bucharest decided not to act against the two hierarchs, were given uh, instruction to avoid similar actions in accordance with the canons of the Romanian Orthodox Church. The prohibition of concelebration, also in the case of some sacramentals, leads to a paradoxical situation in the case of military ceremonies, national holidays, or other public celebration to which representatives to different churches are invited almost all military priests in Romania being Orthodox. From an ecumenical point of view, the litur liturgical celebration that Pope John Paul, John Paul II did together with Patriarch Theoctist, officiating from the same altar in May 1999 in Bucharest, remains emblematic, but each year after separately with his own calis and liturgical material for the Eucharist. And this is normal. During this celebration, the crowd spontaneously shared unity, unity. Over 20 years ago, on the visit of Pope Francis to Romania and the beatification of the martyred Greek Catholic bishops on May uh, 31, um, 2019, Patriarch Daniel 
only participate in the protocol discussion, the only Catholic Orthodox liturgical gesture being the prayer our Father. But about ecumenical dialogue today, despite the tension and the hostile attitudes sometimes coming from the officials, the ecumenical dialogue was and remains a permanent concern that develops on an institute, institute, excuse me, institute, institute level by involving the leadership of the dioceses and the local level of the Synod of the United Romanian Church and the Conference of Bishops in Romania. The Greek Catholic Church maintained a const constructive position even in the complex situation generated by the refusal of the amicable retrocession of the goods that come into the possession of the Romanian Orthodox Church. The Greek Catholic hierarchs accept the alternative service in case uh, that the Orthodox communities. An example is the seminary church in Orada, retrocedated af after uh, 64 years following the final court's rulings on June 30, uh, 2013, Bishop, Bishop Virgil Bercia proposing to the Orthodox side that they can const, uh, continue to, s to serve alternatively as a sign of openness to peace and understanding between Christians. After the revolution of uh, 1989, and the exit of the Greek Catholic Church from the catacombs got involved in the organization of the Octave of Prayer for the Unity of Christians, in which Catholics and Latin of the Latin or Byzantine rite participate by virtue of openness to dialogue and involvement through prayer. In the years that followed, prayer groups from the other religion gradually joined, primarily neo-Protestants and Reformed or from the community of Messianic Jews. Finally, joining this manifestation and Orthodox believer that even has taken place in a true spirit of dialogue, of charity and communion in what unites us. Another permanent in involvement takes place at the academic level through the participation of the faculty of the, of the Greek Catholic theology, theology in scientific communication station or in research projects with interconfessional participation or by organizing the scientific communication of, for the students, in which participate theologians, students uh, and uh, seminarists, Greek Catholics, Roman Catholics and Orthodox. But very uh, important is uh, the ecclesiology of the Eastern Catholic churches. The restoration of unity among all Christians is one of the main concerns of the Second Vatican Council as uh, Unitatis Redintegratio states, Catholics in their ecumenical work must assuredly be concerned for their separate brethren, praying for them, keeping them informed about the Church, making the first approach toward them. But their primary duty is to make a careful and honest appraisal of whatever needs to be done or renewed in the Catholic household itself, in order that its life may bear witness more clearly and faithfully to the teaching and instruction which have come to it from Christ through the Apostle. A first clarification concerns the ecclesiological essence of the United Churches. The declaration from Balamant, 1993, and from Havana, in 2016, affirming that the Eastern Catholic Churches have the right to exist and that the Uniatism is not the current method of full communion, make a clear distinction between the so-called Uniatism and the ecclesiological status of United Churches from today. The United Churches paved the way for the restoration of unity by experiencing communion and contributing to the evolution of the canonical body in accordance with the demands of historical time and the conscience of preserving 
preserving one's identity in the model of unity in diversity. The United Churches are more than bridges between Orthodoxy and Catholicism. They are part of the Orthodox Churches that have already taken a first, first step toward the restoration of unity. His Beatitude, Sviatoslav, the major Archbishop of the Ukrainian Catholic Church, defines the United Churches as follows. The Ukrainian Greco-Catholic Church, like the other United Churches I add, the largest of the Eastern Catholic Churches, is not in any way opposed to the Orthodox Churches. We are an Orthodox Church with Orthodox theology, liturgy, spirituality and canonical tradition, they chose to manifest this orthodoxy in the spirit of the first Christian millennium, in communion with Rome. We are witness to the fact that Christian East and West not only have an obligation to seek some vague rapprochement, but are called by our Savior himself to actually live the unity of one body of Christ, not in the subjugation of one to another, but in loving union of the three divine persons who live not three lives parallel to each other, but one life, a life or self-emptying love that gives life rather than take it. It's our mission as a church that experienced great persecution and martyrdom, said Monsignor Sviatoslav. In conclusion, the Greek Catholic Church has become irreversibly involved in the path of ecumenical dialogue according to the Catholic vision of restoring the unity of the Church of Christ. In their essence, the United Churches are part of the Church's two juries, which began a pioneering work, paving the way to restore the communion between the sister churches in a Church of Churches, a unity in diversity, under the single head of the one holy Catholic and apostolic, which is Jesus Christ. We are aware of uh, the limits of the ecumenical movement in its uh, current form, at the level of theological dialogue and the uh, adjustment of the juridical, canonical body. Many aspects remain to be resolved, but the first results can be seen struck the simple gestures of goodwill coming from the mass of the laity and the clergy from the territories in that Orthodox and Greek Catholics live together. An important step consists in the critical reception of Orthodox and Greek Catholic theology through joint research programs and conferences dedicated to identity, reflection that start from the definition of ecclesiological concepts formulated over time until today. Only after these steps uh, that come from the basis of the living church and after a reconciliation that starts from a mutual knowledge, from the understanding of the liturgical language and from the return to the definition of unity in diversity, can the decision of the hierarchs be reached to repair the consequences of the schism that have turned apart the unity of the mystical body of Jesus Christ? The dialogue between Orthodox and Greek Catholics is more than action of rapprochement at the level of ecumenical dialogue, being a step to restoring the communion between the sister churches according to the Savior's desire that they may all be one. Thank you. Thank you very much for your uh, presentation on the, on the dialogue in Romanian context in all its development and also giving some aspects of, and perspectives for the future. We have time for one uh, question. Please. Merci. 
Um, could you speak a little bit about the relationship of Romanian Greek Catholics and Romanian Orthodox in the so-called diaspora and how it is similar and or different to the dynamics that you've described as taking place within Romania? Thank you. In, in, in the diaspora, are not problems between uh, Roman Catholics, Greek Catholics, and Orthodox. Uh, for example, here in Italy are many Orthodox community uh, who celebrate in, in, in the Catholic churches. And it's the Catholic hierarchy who, who uh, help this uh, Romanian Orthodox community. Um, of course, um, are also uh, the Greek Catholic community uh, here in, in diaspora, uh, perhaps is a unity f based of the national feelings and not is not so important uh, uh, the, the confessional differences. But um, um, generally, uh, the, uh, I, I, I talk about the, 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 this, the uh, about the people. Uh, he made not differences between uh, Greek Catholics and, and Roman Catholics. Uh, are the differences uh, only in the in, in, in a place where uh, are the patrimonial pro problems? between the communities. Yeah, thank you very much again. And now we have a, a break, a coffee break, and 